evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live here from uh, our studio, our temporary studio, to bring our you... temporary studio from Reno. Our temporary studio from Reno to bring you our Spotlight Stream, where we show off games that are just coming out into the industry. And today, we have the pleasure of showing off The Refuge. The Refuge. Uh, Terror, Terror from, from the, the deep. deep. I forget the... Terror from the Deep. Uh, which uh, is... The Kraken. The Kraken! Uh, so this cool. is B&B Game Studio. Uh, we're super excited to show this one off because they were one of our first spotlights. Yeah, this is like one of the first spotlights we did. We played the original Refuge. Mm -hmm. They've revamped the game. Matt and I got to sit with Floyd and the designer right. yesterday, kind of go over the game a bit uh, and get to check it out. And they added a lot of cool new things to it. It's going to be make the game really interesting to see how it plays. Right, I'm, I'm super excited about the... Uh, the, the Kraken Mini, if you yeah. could call it a Mini, it's kind of big. Um, it's like the size of my fist. Yeah, it really is. Uh, so without any further ado, I guess we should just jump right into it, right, Josh? Well, let's, let's jump into the game. All right, so going over to the board cam there, uh, this is, well, the, the board. The board. Uh, so, no, this is a prototype copy. Right. Uh, so we got a lot of cards and sleeves. The cards don't even have backs yet. I have, like, prototypes of the backs of cards. Mm -hmm. So, so like, while... The cards will look like eventually, but it's... It's still a little early, so we still have some like just text cards and stuff, and not right, all the right. art and stuff's done. <laughs> so, uh, theme-wise, the game itself, the original Refuge was zombies. You're trying yes. to escape a zombie invasion. You're trying to get to the Refuge, to the safe haven. To, exactly. You're escaping and, by getting to the Refuge. So the Refuge only had room for one person, apparently. Yep. So uh, you said, screw everyone else. I'm going to make it there first. Uh, but Refuge, Terror from the Deep, uh, is you are divers yep. that are under the sea. And you have to go and make it to the escape pods on a sunken submarine. Yes. Uh, and so there are, on this side of the board, you'll see that there are, was it, seven different escape so pods. pods. And they're randomly kind of dealt out because you have to unlock an escape pod before you can go in it and you do that through either there's going to be these special challenges that come up and that's going to allow you to unlock that port yeah, yeah. if you complete the challenge if you're the first person to complete the challenge uh and secondly uh if you are, are going through the salvage deck which is different items that you can grab throughout the game uh there's some keys in there <clears throat> yeah, so you find a key in the deck, or you, you get a challenge. So there's a, always a way for you to get right. one of them, and you can complete multiple challenges to open up multiple multiple uh, pods. All right, and so then in the original Refuge, where we had zombies that were spawning on the map, we're now getting Kraken tentacles that are going to be spawning, and these things are gorgeous. Uh, so we've got a couple different models themselves, but we've got these Kraken tentacles. Yeah, there's two unique models right now, so there, there's... The the straight up one, and there's like a curly one. The curly one's getting ready to slap you with it. Yeah. Uh, so we've got all of those tentacles off to the side, and then the most important distinction uh, that we're going to see here is the addition of the actual Kraken itself. So big boy Kraken, and turn to say hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, but the Kraken itself is going to be moving around in his restricted zone back here. You'll see the different spaces, and this is basically the Kraken's den. Uh, and the Kraken is going to be performing uh, his own... AI style there's movements. A, there's cracking cards in here. So once we start getting into these uh, spots, once you land in one of these spots, we're going to be drawing one of these cards. So uh, we should make note that there's two modes to this game. There is a competitive right. mode, which we're going to show off first, and then a cooperative mode, which, which is very new, very differently. Yeah. And this board will actually be double sided to help support the the main board's the same, but the the little side spots are going to be a little bit different. So this right. is actually the uh, co-op side of the board. Right. Uh, the competitive would be slightly different, but um, for all intents and purposes, the main part of the board that we're using is the same. Um, so let's just jump into it now. Uh, we're going to start off with the competitive version of the game because yes. we wanted to show off uh, how it's both alike and different from the original Refuge. Okay. Get our feet wet with some of the similar uh, yeah. things that are going so, on. So one of the new unique things is everyone has a unique pa player power. Oh, you favorites, Matt. Uh, you know that that's my so, thing. So... Um, I know Floyd told us the name of some of these characters. They're not on the cards yet, so I don't know the names right. of the people we're playing. So Matt's playing with the cool chick with a giant... Matt, Matt, show off yeah. the cool chick with a giant... By egg. the way, the minis are just absolutely gorgeous in this, so I'm super excited about that. But so... Uh, it's a little green screen. A little green screen -y. Uh It's the gray there. But she's carrying around a giant anchor, and one of my things is I'm going to be able to swing that anchor around and uh, wreck some stuff around me. Yeah. And or so throw me around. Lore-wise, the reason she could swing around that anchor... She's because she's got a mechanized arm. Yeah, you have a card in your hand. I for do. It. I have a mechanized arm hand card. But bam. 
So we each player starts off with three cards mm -hmm. that they can play. They're going to play. They're going to be face up in front of you, and you just flip them over when you use them. Yeah. Uh, so let's discuss what our cards are real quick so everyone knows what's going on. Okay. Uh, so first up, I was showing off Mechanized Arm. So Mechanized Arm is move a player adjacent to Katarina. Well, it's Katarina. That's my okay. that's my hero's name. Uh, into an unoccupied space, two spaces away from Katarina. So I'm picking up and throwing you away. Yep. Uh, then next up is we've got the Anchor Swing, which we are talking about before. Uh, these are yellow spaces immediately around it. It's just green screening right now. And the Anchor Swing is eliminate all tentacles within one space of Katarina. So... That's pretty good. So it's like a cleave that she's doing with the anchor. Uh, and then scavenge. And scavenge is put any salvage card from the discard pile into your hand. That's pretty handy. Uh, so, Josh, what are you doing with your uh, character? I got this cool chick with a spear gun. Uh, her name is Max. Max. Uh, okay. So, so what do you got? First up, she's got long shot. Long shot is going to be remove, any, remove a tentacle exactly two spaces away from Mags in any direction. Okay. So you're the sniper then. I snipe, sniper, no sniping. All right. And uh, then I have reload. And reload is draw two spear guns out of the discard pile. So I keep weapons on me. Yeah. And then uh, battle ready. Battle ready is use immediately after using a weapon card, activate the space Mags is standing on. So what does that mean? So we've got a couple different actions that we could potentially do on our turn. You're only allowed to do one thing. You're allowed on to do one turn. action each turn. Right. One of the things would be to move. Right. And when you move, you're going to activate the space you move into. Right. So there's a couple of different spaces. We'll talk about those in a second. Yeah. Second action, you draw a card. From the salvage deck. From the salvage deck. Third action is you play a card from the salvage deck. Well, or your individual or, or player cards. So you, you play a card. You play a card. <clears throat> um, though some of these cards don't have actions on them. So like this adrenaline card. Right. So the adrenaline card here is take an additional action, uh, play after using a weapon card. So yeah. it's a freebie. So it's basically saying that if you play a weapon, you shoot yourself up with adrenaline, and you get to do something else. Yeah. But if you look at the bottom, it doesn't say action on the bottom, unlike right. this mysterious lockbox. Which says action, uh, as well as our individual player card saying action at the bottom. So um, the cards that don't say action on them, you kind of play when directed. Right. And they, they don't count as a turn. So... It's only action cards that are... Uh, and so then, uh, those are the three actions that you can do. Pretty yes. straightforward. So the different spaces on the board are going to have different interactive elements uh, in, as to what's going on. So this right here, this coral reef, is where we're starting. That's home row. Yep, the home row. Uh, if we were to die, that's where we respawn. Yep. Uh, one of the cool things is when you die, in order to kind of help you, because <laughs> you know, you're going to be pretty far back, uh, you get all of your character actions back. So it's a little bit of a help-out mechanism there. Uh, so after you use one of these actions, we're going to flip them over to indicate that it's, it's completed. Right. Uh, and then you can, flip over, you can refresh everything once you, you die. All right. So then let's start out with uh, this space here with the eyeball on uh, it. Let's start off with no. the tentacles first. Okay, the tentacles That's going to make it a little bit easier. Tentacles, you land on, <coughs> you get to spawn a tentacle. Right. On and any other tentacle space. Correct. Any other tentacle space. Because you can't spawn one in the same space as you. Yeah, you can't, and you can't spawn it where a player already is. Right. Uh, so you spawn it on a tentacle space. The little cool eye, the, like it's the Kraken eye, right? Yeah, that's the lair. The lair. You move on to that space, you get to move one of the tentacle spaces, tentacles on the board already. Right. In any space. So the significance of that is if you'd move a tentacle into someone else's space. It will kill them. It kills them. And that mean, and obviously they cannot move into a space with a tentacle unless they have a weapon, such as the spear gun, which allows you to kill, kill it. And if someone moved it into and you had a spear gun in your hand, you could use it to defend yourself. Defend yourself. Right. So uh, a little protective there. Uh, next up is we have the caves. Okay. So tentacles can't get in the caves. They're safe spots. Right. So there's one place the tentacles can't go. They're safe spots. But... There's whirlpools. We're in the cave, there's whirlpools. So that's these spots here that you can see. And the whirlpools, so whenever you land on example, that, you swap spaces with someone that's so in a I lair. was in the cave. Right. Matt moved into the whirlpool. We would swap spaces. Now, that might not be helpful if, uh, say, you were in a safe space further back from someone else. Yeah. You wouldn't want to do that. But if someone's further ahead of you on the board and camping out in a safe space, then that would be very beneficial to send them back further on the board and yep. warp yourself forward. <laughs> um, and then the last spaces here are the Kraken space. When you land in a Kraken space, you're going to draw a Kraken card. It's a bad card to draw first. As it uh, so let's, let's do this. The anatomy of a Kraken card. Uh, so in the competitive mode, we're only going to use the top part of the card. Right. 
Uh, bottom part is for something else. And, and it's, it's for the uh, co-op, co-op mode. mode. So very straightforward. The arrow, move the Kraken one space in that direction. Uh, he can't move that way. Right. Let's say, let, turn it upside down real quick. So let's say it was moved to the right. And I was here. He's going to move one space and he's going to push me. Right. So he doesn't kill you when he runs into you. Yeah. Uh, but let's say I was here and he got that card. And it's a little hard to... Uh, let me, let me do it, it on that yeah, side. Yeah, put it on that side there. So if I was here and he goes to do this, he there's pushes no me sp- off the map. Right, there's no space he for you to go He devours me. Yeah. Which means there's this devourer. I get to choose a spot in this row to take go back. Right. So, so he eats me up and sits me out, I guess. Your, your progress kind of gets midway through the game. You don't get pushed back to the very beginning. Um, and another example would be, let's say I was here, or Matt, Matt was there, I was here... And he goes to do that again. I get devoured. get devoured because I get crushed between the player and this. Right. But I push you into the Kraken's mouth. But if it's like this, and he comes over, we just both shift over. Somewhere. Right. Right. So, um, some interesting mechanisms that will be there when we get to it. Um, so, why is the Kraken starting off center, Josh? So you actually draw two of these cards at the beginning. So you start them off in the center of the board, and you draw two cards and see what happens. So the very beginning of the game, part of your setup, you're moving the Kraken to a different location yes. uh, on the board. Uh, and then last up, there's one other special Kraken card. The special card. Uh, which is the Devour card. Right. And that's his, that's his beak, essentially. So what does a Devour card do, Josh? Um, any survivors, any of us adjacent to the Kraken yes. get devoured. Okay. So, so even if you're in this front row here, like right here, these three spaces, you e- get devoured. Here you get devoured. Even in devoured. the caves. Even in the caves. Kraken gets in the caves. Yep. He so Little you. tentacles have trouble getting in there, but he don't care. He's he like sucks a, you out. Yeah, he's like a Hoover vacuum. He just flips it on and pulls you out. Uh, so, so that's all the Kraken interactions there. If you could shuffle that deck up. And then finally, we've got the objectives here. So whenever someone collects an objective, a new one's going to come out. Yes. So they continually refresh. Uh, but so this is just an example. So whenever, oh, I'm sorry, when a Devour card is resolved and you are the only player devoured, you're going to get this. So it's actually a benefit for you to get a Devoured yeah, so. in this chance. And so that's going to unlock Pod 7. So that's going to give you your key to unlock Pod number 7 so that way you can escape. Yeah. So... That's there. So yeah, that's that's it. Let's so let's get started, Matt. Do you know who goes first? I don't. It's so the last person that was underwater. Uh, you did not dunk your head. When I we did were in not. The pool. So you were yep. the last one to be completely underwater. Yes, I did not duck my head in the thirty-five degree weather. We uh, it was swimming. beautiful. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna place myself in this spot right there. Okay, and uh, I will place myself. Oh, I have another Kraken card here. I'm gonna place myself. I feel like I need to place myself over here. Okay. No, I'm going to do right here. So you're going to go up first, Matt. Okay, I'm up first. Uh, so I've got my three actions here. I've got to move. I think it behooves me to... I'm going to load up on I'm load up before some you, before items you right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a card. Okay. I'm not telling you what it is, but it's good. I will also draw a card because I really, I really can't do too much. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. AP. I know. Er- early game AP. All right. So, okay. I'm going to start us out then. I'm going to move. Okay. And I'm going to move here. And that's going to spawn summon- a tentacle. Where are you putting that tentacle? I'm going to put that tentacle over here. Over there? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to draw a card. Interesting. All right, I'm going to take a step forward, and I'm in the whirlpool, but nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens to the one to switch with. I will draw a card. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so then I'm going to take another step forward, and I'm going to spawn no, a tentacle. No, that, oh, that is That's a tentacle, yeah. Oh, I thought that was a No, no, and I'm going to spawn that right here. Okay. I will move forward. Right? Ah. And I'm going to move that tentacle right there. All right. I'm going to move forward one. I'm going to move the tentacle over here. <laughs> I'm going to move here. That's my tentacle there. Oh, jerk. All right. I'm going to take a step. Uh, I'm going to interrupt you. I'm playing Time Flare. Okay. So show that off. So time flare is play this card to interrupt all players from what they're doing and take an action. Uh, I'm going to move here, and I'm going to move the tentacle onto you. Uh, I'm going to use my spear gun. 
Okay. Removes a tentacle from your space. So then these are going to go in the discard pile then. Yep. All right. So now can I take my turn, Josh? Yeah, you take your turn now. I'm going to take a step forward, and Mr. Tentacle's going to go over here. Okay. Kraken's waving to you. It's like a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Mm, let's see. I'm going to... What you going to do, Josh? Hmm. Draw a card. Okay. I'm going to take a step here. And then I'm going to move this one here. You're not going to move the one into me? No. Okay. I am going to play the Mysterious Lockbox. So what's the Mysterious Lockbox? Uh, after playing this, discard a decryptor. I have a decryptor in my hand. Oh, I'm okay. Discard that. Uh, and I get to draw four cards. Okay. So one, <coughs> two, three, four. All right. Okay. I'm going to take a step forward, and I'm going to spawn a tentacle right here. Okay, that's fine. I am going to play Propulsion Device. Oh, you jerk. Propulsion Device. So jump over one adjacent tile. You can't jump over a finish tile. So you just hopped over all the tentacles. Just hopped over all the tentacles and went in the cave. Okay. And the cave's a safe space, too. Cave is a space space. A what? A safe space. <laughs> space space. Space space. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a card then. Okay. I'm going to move one forward and I'll summon Tentacle right there. Okay. Well, let's get into it then. I'm going to take a step forward. Space Space is a different game, guys. <laughs> All right, so he's going to move. He's going to move two to the left. To the left, to the left. Can't go anymore to the left, so he's kind of just chilling there. That's good for me. That works. That's that's not bad. Okay. What you going to do, Josh? I'm going to play Grappling Hook. Okay, so Grappling Hook is going to move one space diagonally in any direction. I'm going to move here, and I'm going to put a tentacle right behind you. Ugh. Okay, so I want to move. I'm going to take a step forward. Okay, so another. He's going to devour. There's no, there's no one to devour, but, but he's no also going to shuffle devour. his deck. Right. That's what the icon on the bottom means there. So, unfortunately. It's like the trap card from KDM. If I would have been adjacent to him, then I would have got the unlock pod 7. You would have. Hmm. So, a lot of tentacles up in the beginning of the game. What are you going to do there, Josh? Um, I will move one space forward. Okay. I'm going to move one space forward. And he's devouring again. But no one's next to him. So reshuffle that. Okay. So what are you going to do, Josh? I'm going to move here. Uh-oh. He devours again. <laughs> You're doing a great job shuffling there, Josh. Just try to eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> All right. So then I'm going to take a step forward. And Can you unlock the door? I've got a decryptor. Okay. I win. You do win. How do you play? Uh, Matt wins. Uh, I win. I feel, like, I feel like we need to play a second we, we game. We definitely need to play a second game because uh, I just had a mad sprint there. Um, I also had another decryptor. Ah. Uh, and I was just trying to... And, like, I didn't use any of my abilities. Yeah. All right. Let, 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 let's rewipe this. Yeah. But so that's, that's called a speed run right there. Yeah, that is a speed run. And that happens now and then. Yeah. So, Matt, can you give us a new... Uh, challenge a new challenge so that one i'll put off to the side there and this one is end your turn between two or more tentacles unlocks pod three Moves two to the left and two to the right he's doing the electric slide no he's doing the uh cha-cha slide but the special cha-cha slide 
No, that's no, just no. left. Yeah, if he just went left, that would have been that. All right, so then these are going to go over here. Go ahead and shuffle that discard pile back up. Sure. Okay, so, Josh, I'm going to let you place first. I'm going to go up this side here. Okay. I am going to go over here. No, I'm going to go here. All right, my turn? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You have a tentacle right there. Thanks, friend. You're welcome. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. I'll also draw a card. Well, I'm going to draw a card. I will draw a card now, too. I'll draw a card. I'll also draw a card. I'm going to play a Mysterious Lockbox and a Decryptor together, and I'm going to draw four cards. Okay. I'm going to play a Grabber. So I got to take one of your cards from your hand. Uh, oh. What one card, Joshua? Well, I up to you. Okay. All right. Um, my turn. I'm gonna play a grabber. I'm gonna take a card from your hand. No, not that one. Not that one. Oh yes. I'm gonna draw a card. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. I'll draw another card. I'm going to discard a Decryptor and a Mysterious Lockbox, and I'm going to draw four cards. You just have all the cards right now. I'll draw one more card. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, so then I am going to play a... <laughs> I'm going to do something fun here. I'm going to move into this space here. Okay. And I'm going to play a spear gun. Okay. And then I'm also going to play an adrenaline, which gives me another action immediately. Just wait. Just wait. What? Spear gun this first. Yep. You didn't get to spawn because you oh. moved onto that tile. Well, that's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spawn him right here. Okay. okay. Now you get to do, take your other action. Now I'm going to take my other action. My other action is going to be a propulsion device. So then I'm going to jump over an adjacent tile. So I'm going to go wee and go here. And I'm going to spawn another guy right here. Okay. I will move one forward. And then that is uh, end your turn with at least be in between two more tentacles, right? Yep. So I unlocked pod number three. Okay, so let's get a new objective card out there. And that is move three or more spaces in one turn. Well, shit, I just did that. <laughs> and that unlocks pod one. Which is all the way by me. Okay, and pod three is all the way by me. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> okay. But at least you can't get a pod three now. So I'm going to take a step forward, and I'm going to move this ton of glint to you. Uh, I will spear gun it. Okay. And then I will play uh, adrenaline. Okay. So you take another action. Um, and I'm going to move forward one. Okay. And I'm going to spear gun. Okay. I'm going to kill that. Do you have another adrenaline? And I get to put that there. And I do have another adrenaline. <laughs> so I get to go again. And I'm going to go here. Yeah, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to move this into you. Okay, so then I'm going to spear gun that. Okay, cool. All right, now it's your turn. Um, I'm going to propulsion drive, propulsion device, into this home safe space here. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to reload. Oh, so that gives you two spear guns. Yeah. Hmm. And there's plenty of them in the discard pile now. Okay. I'm going to play Scavenge. Which lets you do what? I could take a card from the discard pile and put it in my hand. So I am going to take a... Decryptor? Decryptor. I had a feeling you were going to do that. Cool. Your turn, Josh. I'm going to move here. Okay. And so I'm in a tentacle right there. That's not very nice. Yeah, it's for you. He's your buddy now. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do something risky here. I'm gonna play a mysterious lockbox and a decryptor together. Okay. So I'm gonna draw four cards. Well, Josh, that means one thing. Kill him. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. And it's your turn, Josh. I'm gonna move here. I'm suspicious with you. Oh, you jerk. I'm going to propulsion device up into here. All right, so we got our first cracking card. He's going to move two to the right. Yes. No. He's blocking you. That's what I wanted to see. What you going to do now, Josh? Huh? 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 I'm going to summon a tentacle to come to you. No. Go away. All right. I'm going to take a step forward. It's going to move one your way. Okay. It's only one. That's okay. I moved. Your turn. <laughs> Mr. Kraken wants to say hi, Josh. See that. He's waving to you. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a grabber. I hope you got good cards in there, Josh. I got two spears. Let go! <laughs> oh, decryptor! Oh, did you need that or something? <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> My turn? Yeah. I'm going to... Move back a space. He's going to move here. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to play another grabber. <laughs> this one. I got a spear gun. Your turn. Come at me, fool. I'm going to take a step forward. Cracker draws a card. It's going two. Oh, no. One, two. Okay. Aren't you glad you moved backwards one? Oh, do you have a propulsion device? I hope you don't. <laughs> All right. Let's see what I'm going to do here. You know, the funny thing is, with the original Refuge, I don't think I want a single game of it. Maybe. So, moving the tentacles, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I could do anything. What about any of your personal cards? N no. So, battle ready, use immediately after using a weapon card, activate the space Mags is standing on. So, I can do grapple hook. Yeah. Which is going to... I'm going to move into this tentacle space. Right. I'll use, I'll use my spear gun. Right. You immediately I activate the this. space. So I get to spawn two guys. Just don't do anything. Huh. My turn. Yeah. I move forward. And I use my decryptor. That, and then I use your decryptor. And I win. I beat you again. How do you play, Josh? Uh, I lose, apparently. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do another competitive round? or That is up to you, my good sir. I think I'm going to give you one more shot at redemption. How about we play as different characters? Though? Yeah, I, I was thinking of different characters. All right. I, I think I want to play the guy with the, the claws. The claw. The claws. Okay. Um, so that's going to be this bad boy here. Give me the, uh, the tanky looking guy with the long spear. I'm going to play as him. Okay. Playing as Vega. And I am playing as... I don't know. Michael. So What's your abilities? Side thrust. Uh, eliminate all tentacles in Michael's row. Ooh. That's that's really good. Uh, harpoon. Eliminate all tentacles in Michael's column. Okay. So he's a one-man wrecking crew. 
and disarm, choose a player to discard a card from their hand. If it is not a weapon, draw a card. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. All right, so I'm going to place first. And I want you to shuffle these up, please. Actually, you know what? Let me let me shuffle. do the Kraken cards. I already did the Kraken cards. You moved the Kraken? Oh, you yep. did. Okay. He's, he's moved. Shuffle those up. Um, put that card back on there. All right. So the new... And my abilities are push, so I can move a player or tentacle in front of Vega one space forward. Well, that's cool. A claw smash, eliminate all tentacles within one space diagonally of Vega. Mm-hmm. And then Crushing Blow, which is the same thing, but in a cross pattern. Orthogonally. It says cross pattern. Uh, so our objective is move three or more spaces in one turn. That unlocks pod one. Okay. Where are you placing? Uh, I'm going to place here. How about you? I'm going to go right next to you. Interesting. And take a step forward. I'm going to spawn a tentacle there. Okay. What about you? Uh, I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play grabber and steal your card. <laughs> <laughs> you stole a grabber. I saw that. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play grabber and steal your card. You could have that. I'm going to draw a card. I'll draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. Well, I'm going to draw a card. But I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. But I'm drawing a card. But I'm drawing a card. But I'm drawing a card. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a decryptor and a mysterious lockbox, and I'm going to draw four cards. I'm just going to draw a card. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to take a step sideways, and I'm going to move this one here. That's fine. That's cool. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to take a step forward. I'm going to spawn one here. Cool, that too. Your turn, Josh. I got your card. I'm going to play a propulsion device. I'm going to jump here. I'm going to place a tentacle over here. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a propulsion device, and I'm going to jump here, and I'm going to spawn a tentacle over here. Uh, I'm playing a grabber. Hold, hold, hold your horses. You're welcome. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. Hmm. I'm going to draw a card. Also draw a card. Stop drawing cards. I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> um, I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a grappling hook. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to move one space closer to you. Okay. I'm going to... Play a mysterious lockbox with the decryptor and draw four cards. Okay. I'm gonna take a step forward. I'm gonna draw and uh, draw a cracking card, and he's gonna move two spaces to the left. All right, ready for this, Matt? I'm gonna move forward. Okay. I'm gonna kill the tentacle spear gun. I'm thinking adrenaline. Okay. I'm then gonna move forward. Okay. I'm gonna kill with a spear gun and use adrenaline. Okay. Uh, I'm then going to. Use a grappling hook. Okay. Go this way. So you already moved three spaces, so you're going to unlock pod one. And I use a spear gun and a adrenaline. I'm then going to propulsion drive. I'm going to summon a guy over here, I guess. No, I want him over here. Okay. I'm then going to... And my turn, because that's all I can do. What's it? All right, the so the one? new one is when a devour card is resolved and you are the only player devoured, gain this one. So it unlocks pod seven. 
All right, I'm going to play a grappling hook. And I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to play a time flare. And no, I'm going to... I'm going to put move into there. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to discard my decryptor. No. <laughs> that was a good turn, though. You did a lot of stuff there, Josh. No. <laughs> I had my time flares. I time flared you, though. I could I could oh, I could have done that. You could have time flared a bunch. I could have time flared when you time flared. Too yes. late. Too late now. Cuz I could so take that back. You're here. Okay. I time flare. Okay. I get to do an action. I'm going to move here, which moves this here. And then you're going to still take your action, but I'm going to time flare again. And then I'm going to play a grappling hook and go here. Oh no, that's not enough. Good. It's not enough. Good. Uh, I, I'm going to not play my grapple hook. I'm going to play Propulsion Drive and then hope for something. Now he devours and you still win. Okay. All right. Let's let's try go out. Okay. <sighs> nice valiant effort, though. Try. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle these back in. So who are you playing as for co-op mode? I think I can go back to Spear Girl. I think I, I think I liked her moves. Yeah. Just wasn't great for the competitive. So I think I'm gonna keep Michael. Okay. I think his moveset is um, effective. Just to make a note, so one of the things that when you click on a spawn now, yes. it's going to eliminate a tentacle from that row or column. Right. So it's kind of like his ability move it into that. So I don't know if it's Beneficial? Oh, I see what you're saying. Because we're going to be doing a lot of that anyway by moving into those spaces. I got gotcha. you. Um, that's true. Okay, so yeah, you're right. I'm gonna. I'll switch it back up. I will play as the first person I played with because I think I can combo some really silly stuff with this. Okay. So game changes a little bit. We're gonna get some uh, objectives. Okay. I believe they're called. So we got um, three things that we need to do to win. Okay. <coughs> we and do they have order. to be done in order. Yes. Okay. Let's put that one there. So um, reset this quickly. So he's going to go back into the center. Yep. And then there's actually going to be tentacles all along the row, right? Yep. Like that. Okay. And so... Shovel these back in. Uh, so first one, we're going to need to scout the terrain. So the goal is to move six or more spaces in a single turn without using a whirlpool. Ew. <laughs> I did that. That was, like, rough, though. So then next up, we've got retrieve the shipwreck's cargo. Goal, be in the boat row? What's this, the boat row is this row here. Oh, okay. That's right. It's marked. Uh, be in the boat row of the board with all players. Then each player must discard cards in either of the combinations shown above. So that would be... Those icons. Those icons there. And then the final one is to activate the escape pods. So randomly place an escape pod token in each finished space. Already done. Reason the same randomness from before. New rule after objective two. Uh, whenever the Kraken devours, remove the lowest number escape pod. When you reach an escape pod with a decryptor, remove your character and that a pod from the board. You have escaped and no longer take any turns. All players must escape. So you all have to get off the board. Oh, and after objective two, we have to do it quickly. Yeah, because every time he devours, it's gonna he's going to eat up. So the way that this works now is the spaces work slightly differently. Um, so, again, we said when you step on one of the spawn tokens, we're going to eliminate a tentacle in that row or column. Uh, then the lair is going to be uh, what, Josh? The same as before. It's still move it to any tentacle. Okay. Uh, cave is the same as well? Cave is, yeah, it can't be, a, if occupied by a character, a tentacle cannot enter it. But if there isn't a character there, it can go on it. Yeah, if it's right. there. Uh, Whirlpool, same as before. Uh, uh, no, Whirlpool's different. Oh, now, is it? You may move to any cave space. Oh. Whirlpool. So you can kind of teleport up the board. Oh, that's cool. And you switch spaces with 
anything on that space. So if there's a tentacle in that cave, you switch uh, it. Or if there's another player. And then if we step in the Kraken space, he's just going to move one space closer to you. But we're going to draw a Kraken card at the end of each player's turn. Yeah. So he's going <laughs> to do a lot of stuff, and it's going to get interesting. Yep. All right. So first up, we need to we need to scout. So let's place our minis on the board. So what do we need? We need to, we need to move six, six or spaces. more spaces okay. in one turn. So where do you want to start? Where do you think we should start? I think we should start a little off to one side. Off to one side. Uh, like I think we should. We don't need to be next to each other, right? Oh, so the other thing is as uh, we need to talk quickly about the Kraken cards one more time. We'll talk about them as they come up. I think what they the, the okay. extra actions. Okay, are. that's fine because they're, they're pretty easy to explain yeah. and, and show. Fair enough. Uh, there's a couple ways we lose though. Right. So first off, we're not going to die if a if a tentacle goes onto us. Right. There's no die anymore. We're going to get knocked down. If both players get knocked down, get knocked down, then we lose. Then we lose. How do you stand back up? Uh, you're going to take two cards from your hand, so uh, like two grabbers, so the little icon on the top uh, left. Right. Uh, you take two of these cards. Uh, they have to be matching pair, and you can stand up. Matching pair of cards or matching icon? Matching icon. Okay. Um, um, when you use your abilities, you're going to flip them over, and you also do that same thing, discard two salvage cards to flip that back over. Okay. Um, and we get to do two actions now. So the actions oh, we get to do right. are we get to move one space, play an action card, use a character's ability action, or discard two sav discard the two as an action. Okay. We get to do two. You could do the same action twice. Mm -hmm. That's up to you. Uh, so also, and if we want to refresh our player cards, we can do that by discarding those two action yep. cards as well. And we can pass cards during our turns as long as we're adjacent. Oh, that's cool. So... That might behoove us for the beginning part to start drawing some cards so we can get a setup so someone can move six spaces real quick. Right. So the other thing to make a note of is the fact that the other way to lose is you, there's this threat tracker on the side here. Uh, yes. And let me zoom down a little bit, pan down. So it's four spaces there. Whenever a tentacle reaches the home row, it's then going to be placed in this threat tracker. Once the threat tracker is filled up, we yep. lose. Uh, there's one last way we lose. Oh, really? Uh, if all the tentacles are on the board, and there's no more tentacles to draw from when we need to draw more, we lose. Oh. So we need to take out some of the existing tentacles pretty quickly. Yes. Um, to make a note, we're missing two tentacles from the prototype. Okay. So there should be five, so we might we might use these we two We might guys. use minis as stand-ins, then. Um, just so we don't extra lose hard, because right, right. we're just missing some. Okay. But I, th I think we'll be able to manage. So with that stuff in mind, we probably want to stay close to each other. But, yeah. Um, and we probably what we, to really move all those extra spaces. We really need to get a lot of adrenaline and spear guns and kind of right. So I think one of us should go for that, and the other one should be on tentacle duty. Okay. So I propose that you be the jumper. Okay, I can be the jumper. That's fun. And then uh, we'll go on tentacle duty. Okay. So where do you want to set up? I think we should still set up next to each other in case you do draw cards. Okay. You can give me some cards. So I'm going to stand here. Because okay. I'm going to jump right into that spot and start eliminating tentacles right, right. off the bat. And you want to go first, then? Yep. So I'm going to take a step forward, and I eliminate this tentacle. All right. So when you eliminate, it's either the row or the column you're in. Right. I'm going to keep these over by me. All right. Sure. So there's none uh, of my row. And you so. still have an uh, <laughs> extraction. Oh, that's true. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. So I got a spear gun. And I got a grappling hook, and I'm going to draw a second card. I got a spear gun. Okay. Both good cards. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. Put, sorry. Your, put, put yours back. So my back. Kraken needs to go, so he devours. Uh, so doesn't really do anything. Doesn't do anything now. He's going to reshuffle his deck. But these three symbols are going to happen right now. So what the Kraken does is he spawns directly in front of him. So each one of those three uh, boxes corresponds to the three spaces directly in front of the Kraken. So he spawns a tentacle in the first available tentacle spawn space. From the back forward. From the back forward. So, okay, that was rough. So, Josh, maybe you want to get on tentacle sure. duty so now? Sure, I'm going to do this. I can move this tentacle here. Oh. And I move here, and I just wipe it out three. That, that was nice. And this shuffles, reshuffles the deck. Right. So that's the end of my turn, and we're going to have to draw a card in a second. Okay. Uh, he is going to move... One to the left. And then he's going to send he's gonna spawn one tentacle in this row. 
Let me show this off on the camera, because this one's yeah. slightly different. He's going to spawn one tentacle in the first row. The middle row is going to move down one. So is that all tentacles move yep, down all one? all tentacles move down one. And then in this row, all tentacles are going to move to the right. There are none in that row. So nothing so happens there. Nothing happens. So th uh, the Devourer is probably the worst one to pick up, I'm assuming, because you're just getting up a ton of tentacles. Yeah. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go. So I'm going to... Oh, that messes with what I wanted to do. Mr. Kraken. What do you want to do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a step to the left and I'm going to send this guy back. Okay. Then I'm going to take a step forward and I'm going to eliminate these two tentacles. All right. Then he's going to move to the left. Right. All and right. So then everything in this row is going to move to the left, which is none. Everything in this row, which is none, is going to move down. Then he spawns a tentacle in this row. So that was pretty harmless. Yeah. Thankfully. I'm going to take this turn. Draw some cards. Okay. I, th I think we're safe right now. Yeah. All right. So I got <laughs> my cards. And then he's going to go double. He's going to shuffle over. Oh. Ooh, these guys are going to run. This is nasty. So now the one on his far left is going to double move down. Middle row, he spawns a tentacle. Then the right-hand row, he moves double down. Okay, so that was mean. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to take a step down here. I'm going to move... Do I think you're okay? You have a, you have a spear gun, right? I have a spear gun. Okay, so then I'm going to move him over here. I'm gonna take a step to the left, and I'm going to clear out this row, this column. Okay. Then he's going to shift over two to the right. Left. Left, <laughs> sorry. He spawns. He spawns. He moves down one, and he moves down one. So none in the middle row. That was good. I'm going to draw some more cards. You might actually luck into some adrenalines, and then you could chain a bunch of stuff together, maybe. That's what I'm hoping, I'm hoping for. But, uh... And then, so, that's the end of your turn. Yep. Uh, oh, boy. He's devouring. Okay, so we're going to spawn a bunch of tentacles. Tentacle here, tentacle here, tentacle here. Thankfully, they're all kind of near the back. And you can shuffle that one up. It's your turn. It is my turn, isn't it? So, the Whirlpool, I can jump to any cave space. Yep. Even switch with a guy. Oh, that's right. Um, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> so, what I think I'm going to do... I've got an... Okay, watch this. Watch this. I'm going to take a step forward. I'm going to Whirlpool here. Okay. And then I'm going to use my Anchor Swing ability... And that's going to eliminate all tentacles within one space of me. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to double move down. No one there. That one doubles down, and then he's going to spawn one right in front of him. All right, my turn? Yes. You need to move six spaces. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, you got two actions, though. So keep that in mind. Still a lot. Still a lot. But if you've got two propulsion drives... I have none. Okay. If you did have two, that's four spaces. If you were to chain that with two spear guns... Or if you were to chain that with one spear gun, another adrenaline, and a, another propulsion device, then you're fine. Nothing help. So, Matt, what, one cool thing I did get was yeah. I did get a time flare. Which, Ooh. if you get next to me, I give you that, and then you can use your me mechanized arm to throw me two oh, spaces. Oh, that's right. And that will help speed me up. That's true. So, it is the end of your turn. He's going to move one space to the right. He's going to move his left one down one. Middle one, he's going to spawn a tentacle. And the right one, he's going to double move down. So, that moves no, that it into the home. Uh, I oh, already sorry. moved that. That, that, that wasn't, that wasn't that was even in the right move. row. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so then nothing in that row, thankfully. Yep. So we're okay there. We're good. So my turn. Yep. What do I want to do here? I don't know. If you get by me, it would be nice, but I don't know if there's an easy way for you to... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to eliminate this one. Then I'm going to go here, and I'm going to switch with this guy. Okay. So I'm going to give you my time flare because that's a free action. Right. Do you have anything good in your hand? I have a spear gun. That doesn't help too much. So can you move four spaces? So. I see you can't chain anything together right now. That's the problem. If you threw me to start with, where where could you throw me? I could only throw you two spaces or th in any direction away from me. So you can't throw me into a tentacle at the moment. Um, no, I could throw. No, I can't throw you into any tentacles. Just okay. So, oh, hold on. So I just went. So he needs to do his action. Yep. So that might change things up. That's true. So he's gonna move one space to the left. He's gonna double move left hand side down one. Yeah, there's nothing there. He's gonna spawn a tentacle, and he's gonna move right side down one. Okay, I'm getting nervous about this guy here. I mean, it's only the first one. Right, but still, if we don't have to do it. All right, so I can grapple hook into the one adjacent to you. So I can also throw you here. Just wait. So that would be one. I use a drone. Oh, no, I can't throw you. I can only throw you into an unoccupied space. Okay, that's fine. So it makes sense for me to... To grapple hook into him, and spear gun. Then you, after I do that, before I do that next move, you throw me. Right. So that's one space. You throw me two spaces. That's, that's three. Three. You need to move three more. I can't do three more. Okay. We just keep, need to keep drawing. Uh, should I draw or should I? I think you got to help out with these tentacles a little bit. Take out with that one guy. Uh, he's within two spaces of me, right? He sure is. But, but not, not, on, not, not according to my thing. Not two spaces in the same direction. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in this ripple. Yeah. Go to this cave. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a step forward. Okay. You're gonna kill okay. all of them in that column. In this column. That's good. No, you only eliminate a tentacle. A tentacle? Yes. I thought it was all. Oh, we've been doing something wrong here. It's a tentacle? It's a tentacle, but if you do, draw a salvage card. Oh. We're going to start doing that now. We should yeah. have a lot more salvage cards. We should have cards. a lot more salvage cards. Yeah. Oopsies. All right, I got more adrenaline, so I can start doing some more cool stuff. Okay, that's fine. So, now he's going to go. He's going to move two spaces to the right. Boop, boop. All right, so he's going to double move down on the left-hand side. Oh, no. I need a spear gun. Okay. So you're fine there. And Middle I kill it. So does that mean I get the draw? Uh, no. It only says it on the spawn. Okay. That's only for that tile, it looks okay. like. Okay. So then he's going to spawn one in the center row, and then he's going to double move the right-hand one down, which there's no one there. Yeah. Okay. So that changes things up significantly here. <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to... I'm going to take a step to the left. And I'm going to kill this one. And I'm going to draw a salvage card. He's going to go... I'm not done yet. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Then I'm going to take a step... I'm going to take a step back into the whirlpool, and I'm going to go here. Is that what I want to do? No. You I'm just took a step I'm, to the left. That's true. I'm just going to draw a card. Okay. Okay. Now, hold on. It's a free action to give cards, right? Yeah. Here you go. Propulsion device. Thank you. All right. So now he's going to go. So he's going to go two to the right. He's going to move left and middle down one, which there's no one there, and then he's going to do a tentacle. Okay. All right, so it is your turn now. All right. So do you have enough yet? You're not adjacent to me, so I can't throw you. But I, I, can, I can move into space. I get spear gun. Use adrenaline. Right. You would throw me. Right. As that worked, so that's three spaces. Right. I can move two more spaces with this, so it's four, five, and I still have one more action, so that would be six. Right. 
I think. So that's one to move there. Yep. Spear gun adrenaline, you get your action back. Yep. Then I throw you two, three, or wherever you land. Mm -hmm. Then you have to propulsion drive into one. That's your second action. Oh, the propulsion drive. That's just that. That would be my first action. That would be my That'd second be your action. Yeah, you're technically your first because you're using the adrenaline. Yep. And then you could move one space. So yeah, you could. Do, we could do this okay. now. So I'm going to to move right here. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Do I activate the? I have to activate the whirlpool. No, I don't think so. May move. You may move. Okay. So I'm gonna take that guy out. Okay. Go ahead, my spear gun. And I'm and gonna use the journal. Time flare. That's so time flare. I'm gonna time flare, and then I'm gonna throw you. So two spaces in any direction from me. Yep. So I can throw you. You in can't throw me in a monster. That's true. Needs to be an empty space. So we're. I don't have any more weapons, so don't throw me in a monster. I'm gonna throw you here. No, don't throw me there. Why? Because I can't propulsion drive from there. Why not? Oh, I can, I can go backwards, I guess. No, no, no. But so when you land here, you activate the space. Okay. And then you're going to take him out. I'll take him out. You draw a card. I did get a spear gun. Now you can propulsion drive. No, I don't. I'm going to. So it, look, if you propulsion drive, you can propulsion drive here, kill that guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grapple hook, though. Okay. Go back here. Kill this guy. Use, use your that. spear gun. And use my spear gun. And then you... I'm gonna activate that ability to kill this guy here. Oh, uh, you're killing that guy? You're killing the yeah, guy? Yeah, kill this guy here. Okay. So I draw a card. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take that out. Got to take out the grabbers. There's no grabbers in a yeah. particular game. I still have one action. Uh, I'm gonna then... I'm just gonna adrenaline just to do it. Okay. And then I can pull some drive. Back two spaces. I kill this guy. Draw a card. Draw a card. Objective one is now complete. Woo! So objective one is complete. You flip the card over, and we've developed an escape plan. So reward, recover all character abilities, take right. all diver cards from the discard, and distribute them between all players. Right. So what are those diver cards? The grappling hooks, the propulsion drive. So those are the movement cards. Yeah. Um, so there's only there's only two of them. That's fine. Any, any uh, desired what you have? Um... I'm going to do grappling hook just so I can do tentacle okay. duty still. And then I still have one more action because <laughs> I decided to. That's uh, true. You you do. Um, so I am going to. What's the second one? We need to get in the ship line. So we need to get in the ship line, which you're there already. Boom. Boom. There we go. Uh, go be in the ship here. line and with all oh. their players, which we are. Yes. And then each player must discard cards in either of the combinations shown above. So time, time. And that, and then Diver. No, and I don't have that. I don't have that either. All right, so I'm just going to draw a card. Okay. So I got a time. I got... I don't have anything to... All right, so then he's going to move two spaces to the left. He's going to spawn a tentacle on lefty. Middle one's going to move down, and right one's going to move down. There's nothing there. Good. So we're in, a, we're in a good spot with the tentacles right now. Yeah. But we need to get some gear so we can... Right. So... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to draw two cards. Um, oh, grab her. Just take that out again. Okay. That and that. So I've got an adrenaline, which is the time card, and I've got a decryptor, which is that sonar looking thing. I got. So I need one more time card and then I can discard. I need another time card. Where I need the, uh, the shuffle. Yeah. Icon. Where I need the shuffle icon, which is. We discard our ability? There's not a shuffle in the deck? I'm just curious if there's a shuffle in the yeah, deck. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to double check. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, the lockboxes. Oh, yeah, the mysterious lockbox. Okay. I'm going to go grab. What are you doing? I'm taking the grabbers out. If I see oh, any. okay. All right. So what do you do? Did you no, do I, turn? Uh, I need to do Kraken, Kraken. now. He's going to devour, so he's going to spawn three tentacles. And can you shuffle that, please? Yep. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay. So my turn. Sure is. Right. Anything you would like me to do? Um, not particularly. Right, I'm just gonna draw cards then. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. 
Okay, so then he's going to draw a new card, and he's going to move one space to the right. Left row is going to move to the left. Uh, middle row is going to move down. Right row is going to spawn. Okay. Okay. I can move wherever I want on the board map. I have three propulsion drives. Oh, goodness. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play a grappling hook. Yeah? Is that what I want to do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to play a grappling hook. I'm going to move here. I'm going to take this guy out. I'm going to draw a card. Not, not a Kraken card, Matt. Huh? Not a Kraken Not a Kraken card. card. And then that was my first. My second action, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a card. Okay, I got my mysterious lockbox. So I now have what it takes to discard. So you're going to discard a movement and the thing. So do you have an extra time card? Uh, I sure do. All right, so... You can move here. Right. To go here. Right. So I can get your time card, please. You got it. There's my adrenaline. And then I'm going to move here okay. to kill this guy. Draw a card. And draw a card. Okay. So then he's going to devour. Could he get that out of the way now? Because after next round. Yeah, that'd be really bad. Devours are bad. Really bad. There. There. And oh, come on. Stop. He's, he's holding my hand. And down there. Okay. A lot of tentacles all of a sudden. So you shuffle that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a step forward. That was my first action. We're both in the boat row now. Yep. So be in the boat row of the board with all players, and then each player must discard cards in either of the combinations shown above. So I'm going to discard a mysterious lockbox as well as a grappling hook. And that satisfies the right-hand condition. I'm going to do uh, adrenaline, a time flare, and a decryptor. And that satisfies the left-hand one. So Ooh, we so discarded that. that we that have finished objective two, and objective two is we found the secret cargo. Reward all, uh, recover all character abilities. We didn't use any. Okay. Uh, take all uh, gun Other cards, cards. Uh, uh, from the discard pile and distribute them between the players. That's nice. So as a reminder, now because objective two is over, whenever the kraken devours, remove the lowest number escape pod. When you reach an escape pod with a decryptor, remove your character from the board. You can no longer take turns. All characters must escape. Okay. Do you have? Uh, we have three spear guns. I also have a decryptor. I have two spear guns in my hand. I have one in my hand, so I'll take two and you take one? Yep. I have a bunch of propulsion drives. All right. So that was the end of... Oh, oh you still have one more action. I do. I'm going to take a step forward. I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to draw a card. I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. Uh, now he does this. He moves two spaces to the left. He's going to spawn on the left. He's going to move down with this one. And he's going to move down with the right-hand side. Okay. My turn? Yes. I'm going to propulsion drive. I'm going to jump into this dude. Okay. Um, I'm then going to use... Uh, I thought I had an adrenaline. Apparently I don't. I, since I landed here, I'm going to kill this guy. Okay. And grab that. And then I can activate my ability to use immediately after using a weapon card. Yes. To activate the space I'm standing on. Okay. To so kill I'm another kill guy. guy. Draw another card. Draw another card. That was nice. I st still have an action left? Yeah. So this says this was an action. So I just get to use the same spot. I don't have to move to use that spot again, I'm assuming. So I'm, I'm done. Okay. So then he is going to devour! Well, shit. Okay, so he's going to spawn one here. That spawns there. That spawns there. And then we're going to lose the number one. Yes. It's okay. It's only one. There's still six more doors. That's true. Just need to be able to get up to a door. He's yep. kind of blocking us right now. Okay, so that's one, two... Hmm. That doesn't help because he's there. Okay, so I... Oi, 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 oi. I'm going to take a step. Jesus, this is rough. I'll give you some cards if you need something. No. I'll, uh, we're not adjacent right now, so you can't even give me anything. I mean, if you move to Do you have a grappling hook? Uh, I have two grappling hooks. No, nah, I don't need it. I'm going to take a... 
Oh, boy. Sure. I'm going to take a step here. I'm going to use the spear gun and the adrenaline. So it takes that out. I'm then going to move forward one. You could teleport over there through the thing. I could. Let and me do that. Try. So that was... That's one, That's one. but you use adrenaline. So, so you it's still a have, free. So it's a free. So, so then you still got two more. Do you have propulsion drive? I don't. Uh, I'm going to take a step forward. He's going to move one closer to you. And I still technically have one more action, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can move another one forward. He's going to move. He's going to just push you a no. little bit. Oh, that's true. He pushes me. He doesn't kill me. Yeah. I'm going to take a step forward. So okay. he's going to push me that way. Which is okay. As long as he doesn't devour here. He's going to move one space to the left. And this one moves double down. He spawns one in the middle. And then the right side moves down one. Okay. So you got a nice row set up for you to beat up if you want. Or you can go over here, and then we can start bouncing back and forth. All right, let's let's try this. I'm going to propulsion drive. Okay. So I'm going to jump two. He's just going to move over one. I'm going to move one forward. He's going to go over here. Okay. Just hope he doesn't devour. He's not. He's moving two spaces to the left, but he can't move to the left. Yep. He's going to move down two? No, he's going to stay Oh, I'm sorry. He's going to stay He spawns one in that row. Spawns one. And then this one he moves down two. All right. <clears throat> so it's my turn now. It's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. I'm going to take a step forward. All right. He's going to move one closer to you. Thank you. And then I'm going to take another step forward, and, you and I'm going to play my decryptor. Okay, so you're out. Your pod goes away. Um, I still think a Kraken turn happens for you, right? Yes. Oh, he's devouring. That's fine. It's a good thing that he moved. So he's going to take bay number two away. That's fine. Oh, no. There's still supposed to be two more in the game. Okay. So he's going to spawn one here. Ooh. Here. And um, this guy's going to be... Here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fuck. <laughs> I'm safe. I can't get out. He needs to move over a little bit. Because if I move here... He's just going to push you back. He's going to push me back. Oh, man. I'm stuck. You could draw two cards and hope he moves to the right. That's, yeah, that's all I can do. Um, that's a card. And uh, that, that that's a card. And he's going to move one space to the right. <sighs> Whew. He's going to move this road down one. He's going to move. He's going to spawn one in this row, but he can't spawn anymore. In so this he doesn't row. spawn. Okay. If there's no spawn spot, he doesn't and spawn. And then this one, he moves down two. Okay. Now it's my turn. Yes. To move one. Goes here. And then. Propulsion drive. <laughs> Propulsion drive the shit out of myself. And I uh, use the decryptor. Awesome. We did it. Bam. Bar barely. Barely. We had one more tentacle. Left one, yes. so if that spawned, we would have died, right? Oh. It's not when it's it when he can spawn no more, or I think is it's it when, when he can spawn no more? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Or when that. all of them are on the board. I think if he can't spawn anymore, but we did it either way. But we did it. We made it. All right, so that was our spotlight of the refuge terror from the deep by B and B Game Studio. Games. And this is be coming out to Kickstarter in June ish. June ish, maybe earlier, maybe later. Just they're, they're trying to finish up the assets and everything and get it ready for you guys. Um, so we'll see where when exactly it comes out. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely let you guys know when, it, when it's happening. Absolutely. Um, but no, this, this was it. Um, Make sure that you stay tuned for our first impression session coming up next where we go through our favorite aspects of the game, any constructive criticisms we might have, and the most important question of the evening of would we play this game again. But for now, thank you for watching. We're going to be back in just a second. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Have a good one, everyone. Good night.